Question of the week in Blex Review number 26. Our question is, which of the following carpals does the thumb's metacarpal articulate with? Is it going to be A, the scaphoid, B, the triquetrum, C, the trapezoid, or D, the trapezium? One more time. Which of the following carpals does the thumb's metacarpal articulate with? Scaphoid, triquetrum, trapezoid, or the trapezium? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you, which of the following carpals does the thumbs metacarpal articulate with? And we had a great turnout here. We had 42 votes. 45% of you said it was a scaphoid. 2% of you said it was a triquetrum. 19% of you said it was a trapezoid. And then 33% of you said it was a trapezium. And then thank you to the 11 people who liked this post. So a majority of you went with the scaphoid. So let's go ahead and see if this is the correct answer. Now, this question wants us to figure out which carpal articulates, meaning which one meets or creates a joint with the thumbs metacarpal. So let's go ahead and take a look at this information. Here we have the eight carpals and you can look up here in the left corner and see that this is going to be my left hand. And so you can see my radius, which you know is gonna be on my thumb side. And then you have my ulna, which you know is gonna be on my pinky side. And then you can see my thumbs metacarpal. You can see my second, third, fourth and fifth metacarpal. And so this is going to be the left hand as well. Now, I have a picture here that's somewhat pronated and kind of gives you the lateral view to show you what this picture is here. These two bones are easier to see from the lateral view because you can tell that the pisiform is on top of the triquetrum. And so let's go ahead and start labeling these. We have the scaphoid, we have the lunate, we have the triquetrum, we have the pisiform, we have the trapezium, we have the trapezium, the capitate, and then we have the hamate. Now there is also a mnemonic that I found on Google, and that is Sally left the party to take Kathy home. And the way that this mnemonic works is you start at the scaphoid. So starting on the left side, and then you go right, and then you go back up to the top row, you start on the left side, and then you go right. So scaphoid is Sally, lunate is left, triquetrum is the, pisiform is party, trapezium is two, trapezoid is take, capitate is Kathy, and then hamate is home. So if that helps you remember this, I would use it. Now you can also access this worksheet on Etsy or Patreon where I have where you can label the eight carpals of the hands and then it also gives you the answer key as well as the anatomy of the hand. So you can label the bones, the carpals, the metacarpals, the phalanges, as well as all the joints that are in the hand. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can access these worksheets. It's on Etsy and Patreon. So just bear that in mind. Now let's take a look at this question again. Which of the following carpals does the thumbs metacarpal articulate with? All right, so here we have the thumbs metacarpal, and it is going to articulate with the trapezium, making the trapezium metacarpal joint. The trapezium is the correct answer here. And so 33% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to download those worksheets on either Etsy or check out my Patreon page where I actually have a live lesson where I go over this material and make sure you know this before you go into the Emblex. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.